Hey guys, from Lux here, back with our newly blind playthrough of Morin. Last time we killed a dude. And man, I don't know how they freaking do all this armor stuff. You know? Dude had like... What was it? A couple hundred pounds of armor? I mean, it was way heavier than all this stuff. Significantly heavier. So, I don't know. Now we're going back to Almalexia to report his death, which is what she wanted. Um, oh, I guess the maps. I Many could... blessings upon you, my loyal servant. Fill in the rest of the map. Maybe there's only one quest line in this. You know, because it seems like it's all kind of connected to Almalexia. Come, bathe in the light of my mercy. Yeah. Have you eliminated the threat of my poor mad missing hand and brought peace to Mournhold? Silas Valor is dead. The pain is almost more than I could bear, but you have served me faithfully, and is in, it is in my mind to grant you a divine blessing. Would you like skin as tough as iron? Would you like my protection against paralyzing terror? Or would you wish to always bask in warm comfort of my reflected glory? Quick now, choose. You must not keep your deity waiting. Hmm. Skin like iron, which I assume is better armor against physical attacks. Protection against paralysis. Reflected glory, which is probably spells. So we'll do... We'll do the warm reflected glory. I bless you with my gift and mark you as my own. Be ever, ever faithful in your service, and you may expect more generous rewards. Journal updated. Was it a power, though? Fortify health. Well, that sucks. <laughs> her her reflected glory is 10 extra points of health. I'm like... Okay, it's kind of the... I thought it was related to spells. Okay. Let's see, I reported to Almalexia that Sal's Valor is dead. Any threat of... He represented to the peace of Mornhold is now eliminated. She was pleased, rewarded me with a special divine blessing. <sighs> you know what? Maybe I should... Because that's... Man, that sucks. That's terrible. Let's... We're going to get another one. So what are, what are the other ones? I assume it's like, you know, 5% paralysis protection or something like that. Skin as tough as armor, I don't know. Many blessings upon you, my loyal servant. Um Well should we see what they do? Um Let's say protection against paralysis. If it's decent, we'll keep that one. I didn't man, I didn't realize that was and what does this one do? Okay. Oh, resist paralysis, her guard against terror, 20%. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, that works. Oh, I'm stuck. 20% Paralysis resistance. It's good. I don't know how exactly it works, but it works for me. All right, well, uh, yeah, let's save. Two sixty-eight. What may I do for you? Let's see. Child? Welcome, Luxley. It is time we talked of greater things. I have watched you since your arrival in Vardenfell, and you have been as strong and faithful a servant to me. None but the Nerevarine could have succeeded as you have. How long I have waited for this. My Nerevar returned to me at last. I have watched from my temple as others have made the claim. 
and I've seen them fall. I believe now that you are the one who has prophesied. This doesn't make sense. Why is she bringing this to me now? Because she would have known that I defeated Dagoth Ur. But now she's talking to me now that I've killed one of her hands, I guess. All right. I believe you now to be the Nerevarine. Though I've watched others come and go, my belief is that you are the child of prophecy. The time has come for you to reclaim your station. Together we can unite Morrowind once again, free from the Imperial yoke. I have great concerns about this because she betrayed him potentially, right? It's not official, but, you know. For years, the Keimer and the Dwemer had been at war. The Dwemer spurned the Daedra that the Keimer worshipped, instead placing their faith in their metal creations. It was only when the Nords invaded Resdane that the two nations were able to join as one, under the leadership of Arnirovar and the dwarf king Dumak. In time, the two generals became blood friends, and on the day that Nerevar and, and I were wed, Dumak presented us with twin blades, Hope's Fire and True Flame. She's a warrior then? Okay. Each blade was a magnificent, or each was a magnificent blade, the pinnacle of Dwemer craftsmanship. Their blades burned with an unearthly fire, and the sight of them struck fear into our enemies. My blade has been kept safe, but not so True Flame, the blade of Nerevar. It was lost at the Battle of Red Mountain. The Blade of Nerevar. In the battle beneath Red Mountain, True Flame was shattered, the flame extinguished, and in the confusion, the peace is lost. Oh god. It is time for you, Nerevarine, to remake the blade and take your place by my side once again. I have only one, which I now give to you. Through my magic, I've been able to determine the other pieces of the blade are nearby. Find the other two pieces of the blade and forge the blade anew. Only you may accomplish this, Nerevarine. Broken Dwemer blade piece has been added to your inventory. Okay, so there's two more pieces. Forge the blade. Where do you have to do that? As I said, they are nearby. Look to those in the city that you know and trust for guidance. Oh, God. Find those who would have use for items such as this. Prove your mettle to me, Nervarine, and soon we, will, soon we will stand together once again. So, again, I have to... I have to go find them. Just ask randomly. The best weaponsmith in all Tamriel resides in my city. When you have recovered the piece of the blade, seek out the finest among these craftsmen and press him into our service. And I assume that's the dude in God's Reach. The one that makes you the armor. Okay, well, pieces of the blade... Uh, let's talk to you. I cannot. Okay. They're in my city. Oh, I can't tell you where, though. I'd seek out people who would have use for the blade. Yes, this weather is odd. But trust in the lady. All will be well. Okay. Amalexia told me of True Flame and Hope's Fire, the Blades of Nerevar and Amalexia. True Flame was apparently lost at the Battle of Red Mountain. I mean, it's convenient that the pieces are here in Mournhold, but whatever. According to Amalexia, oh, I noticed this too. Uh, believes me to be the reincarnation of her former lover. Believes that together the two of us might be able to free Morrowind from Imperial rule. She didn't say that, and that's, again, I have that issue, but, uh, you know. Okay, the pieces of the blade are all in Mournhold. She give me the first. When I find the other two, find the craftsman who would best be able to forge the blade. Okay. Look to those who you know and trust for guidance. That's not... Broken Dwemer blade piece. Okay, how much... Weight of one. That's not bad. Try me, and you'll regret it. 
Okay. To those you know and trust for guidance. I don't... The, the, I I'll don't... clean this temple, Sarah. Mind you keep it that way. Okay. Uh, well... Trust in God. To be yeah. Yeah. Who... That's the problem. I don't know anybody. I don't know who do you know and trust. No one. Well, you found the ring and returned it to the goddess. Foolish, foolish, foolish. I hope your faith in her is well placed, Loxley. In the wrong hands, I shudder to guess what evils could be unleashed on the city. No one told me what it does. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, what happens if you don't give it to her? An attempt to reforge the Blade of Nerevar. Interesting. I wish I knew where to tell you to look, but my knowledge of the blade is somewhat limited. Perhaps you'd do better speaking with Torressa Aram, the curator of the museum. I did have that thought. I was like, well, she would maybe, it's, you know. She's a, in, at the museum. That would make sense. Her knowledge is extensive when it comes to unique items. Of course, it is always wise to consult Lady Berenzia. One never knows what the lady has heard. Good to see you again, friend. See, and so he's a dude, and he's presumably the one that's, like, guiding you, sort of. But that's the the problem is there are no, you know, you're not. Oh no! Oh, Jesus. City of light, city of magic. Yeah. Okay, man. Can you move, move out of the way, please? Sweet baby Jesus. Oh my goodness. Oh God. Wait, why am I, what was I stuck on? The walls? Oh, you're here now. Why? Because you have a piece of the blade? Well, let's go talk to Also, he had a beard. That was strange. Those are strange times, my friend. The people are frightened. Reforge the Blade of Nerevar. I have heard rumors of the Nerevarine returning. Could it be you? I wonder. If what Amalexia says is true and all the pieces of the blade are here in Mournhold, I have a few suggestions for you. Health Seth's champion, Karad, carries a blade that is of ancient Dwemer design. Perhaps you will learn more from him, though it will be difficult to get the information out of Karad. He is mute, Loxley. None have ever heard him utter a word, and the only way to get near him is in battle. You'll need to convince Helseth to let you duel as champion. Speak with my son. Perhaps it could be arranged. Okay. All right. Berenzia suggested that Karad, Helseth's champion, may have one of the pieces of the blade. I'll need to duel him in order to have access to him, though, and I'll first need to convince King Helseth to allow the duel to take place. How do I do that? Is he going to be like, oh, you want to duel him? Well, you know, you could do something for me first. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. We are pleased to see you, Sarah. Ah, so you're the one Tienus has been telling us about. I haven't even talked to Tienus. You should have brought the information to us directly. Still, you may be of use. We understand you had a slight inconvenience earlier. It appears we were given a bit of misinformation. The Queen Mother has spoken of you as well. What are we talking about? We understand you were visited by some Dark Brotherhood assassins. A regrettable occurrence. They are a difficult lot, but they do have their usefulness. I'm certain that will no longer be a problem for you. Is something screwed up here? Like, presumably he's using them and he probably summoned or used them against us. Give him a bit of misinformation. Yes, we have various sources throughout Vardenfell that are paid well to provide us with information. Unfortunately, sometimes it proves to be incorrect. One of our informants had suggested you could pose a threat to our monarchy. That cannot be allowed, as I'm sure you understand. Ah. I see. So he did hire them. 
It is never easy for one to assume the throne, especially after the unfortunate set of circumstances that led to our beloved King Lethen's death. There are those who would seek to profit from such events, to take the opportunity to create unrest among the people. There are those even who would wish to see us dead. <sighs> you know, of course, of Queen, Bren Queen Brenzia. We returned to Mournhold together after the unpleasantness in Wayrest. An amazing woman, our mother. Not one to be taken lightly. Not much happens in Mournhold that she is not aware of. She is a valuable asset to us. Does this surprise you? Even now, there are those that would see our head on a pike. What better way to achieve one's goals than to have others remove those that would oppose you? Surely you have some understanding of this. In fact, we have recently been told of a plot against the throne. I assume you've heard of the Morai Tong and of the Dark Brotherhood. They have their purpose in Morrowind. Some of my informants have learned of a possible assassination plot against our royal person. I would like more information on this. However, I do not want our co to compromise the safety of my guards or of my informants. I believe, however, you would be suitable for this matter. I wish for you to meet an informant of mine at a local corner club, the Winged Guar. You'll find it in God's Reach. He's an orc and shouldn't be hard to pick out. Find him and ask about his uncle's farm. He'll know what it means. Then report back to me with your information. Just ask him about it. Well, uh, let's see. What about Carrod? I met him many years ago, a deaf and dumb child wandering the streets of Wayrest. The boy actually had the audacity to try and rob my stepsister, Elisana. I marveled at his courage and took him into my employ. When a dog has been beaten, Loxley, it will lick the hand of one who feeds it even the most meager of scraps. Now he is my most loyal of servants, and one of my most deadly. I wish for you to fight my champion. Just wish me to fight him? That is correct. I've come to know you a bit, Loxley. I believe you can be of some use to me. But the plans I have will require someone of great strength or wit. Perhaps both. The time has come for you to prove this to me. You will return here tomorrow, and you will do it Carrot. If you are able to defeat him, we will discuss my plans for you. All in good time. First, you will prove yourself. Return here tomorrow. Okay. Well... Uh, sure. Mornhold, city of light, city of magic. Let's, uh, okay. We're just gonna. It's like, oh yeah, you could duel him. That's cool. I'm like, all right. We'll just, uh, 11 p.m. We'll just wait 24 hours. That's cool. I assume they mean after 24 hours, but they might mean a day later. It's fine. Ah, there it is. Your reputation does you honor, Sarah. Have you come to fight my champion? Are you prepared to face Carrot? Karad, whatever. Ah, you've come to meet Karad in battle. Carrot, whatever. Good for you. Have I mentioned that Carrot has never been defeated? Perhaps I hadn't. This is to be a fair fight. Use whatever weapons or spells are at your disposal. I wish you both luck. At least one of you will need it. None are to interfere, and you will begin on my command. Uh. Come to the throne room to face Carrot. Helseth tells me it is to be a fair fight, and none are to interfere. I'm gonna use any spells or weapons at my disposal. Okay. Let the duel begin. Uh, let me use some... Actually, hang on. What about, uh... Hmm. Can I... Hmm. Okay, where is... Let's see. Let's try it. I don't want to hit anyone else with it, but... Okay, poison is good. And I'm pretty sure that's the blade, right? Oh, it... 
reflected? Well, that's bad. Let's just, uh... Oh, let's restore Magicka. Wow, that's... That poison's pretty tough. Hold, I'm beaten. You're the greater warrior, Loxley. You should speak now with my liege. Okay. All right. Your reputation does you honor, Sarah. Enough. I've seen you fight my champion, though I find it hard to imagine how you've succeeded. I did not believe anyone could beat Carrot, but you have shown me otherwise. And he speaks. There are depths to you, Loxley, that I will fathom in time. For now, you have proven yourself to me. Was I supposed to kill him? I'm amazed you were able to defeat him. There may be the stuff of greatness in you, Loxley. Um, I'm impressed, Loxley. None have ever defeated Carrot in battle, and I certainly didn't expect you to be the first. You continue to surprise me. You have proven your worth to me as well as your loyalty. Take this as a token of my faith in our friendship. It was my father's ceremonial dagger, and I place it now in your possession. Do not disgrace this memory, Loxley. Now, let us discuss my plans for you. Um, What may Kara do for you, mighty one? Well, I was really hoping... Kara says nothing. I'm Kara Warrior. Woman's beauty is only equal by her grace. Shame she didn't pass that on to her son. Funny. Okay. Goblins. Helseth. An eternal friend to you. Yep. He was an old man. He wasn't going to live forever. Situation in Plaza Brindisi Dorum is under control, but you were there, I guess. I heard it was pretty terrible. Okay. Um, hmm. That's what we were just given? That's pretty good. Wow. Really? It's better than Keening, huh? I mean, maybe not the enchantments, but... Okay, where... I... Okay, he may have one of the pieces of the blade. So... What now? Okay, as I'm certain you know, Mornhold is one of the seats of power for the Tribunal. The goddess Almalexia resides here in her temple, surrounded by her high ordinators. No great love for Almalexia, her ordinators, or the Tribunal of which she is a part. In light of recent events, I believe it is time to gather more information about them. The attack on Mornhold was as unexpected for me as it was destructive to the city, and I make it my business to remain forewarned of this sort of event. Many believe the attacking creatures have been Dwemer constructs, but we know now this is not the case. These creatures were beyond anything dreamt of by the dwarves, creatures that would take the power of a god to create. I would like you to learn more about the attacks. I believe the only person who might shed more light on the situation is Amalexia herself. All indications that are are that these creatures must be the constructs of Sothasil, and only Amalexia is likely to have the information about him. I wish, I wish for you to speak to her, learn what she knows about the creatures, and report to me. There is no reason for the goddess to suspect you and I may be allied. Use this to your advantage. Do not approach me again until you have learned all that you can. 
One of the tribunal. None have seen the tinkerer in centuries, from what I understand. I distrust these man gods, especially ones I cannot find. Yes, I sent you to her to learn more about the attacks. Okay. So she probably wants me to forge the blade first or something. Why is he not? Oh, here we go. When I was a child, my father gave me this weapon. He told me that as long as I had it, none would defeat me in battle until the rightful owner came to claim it from me. I know now that you are the one of whom he spoke. I give it to you freely. May it serve you as well as it has served me. It's technically true. I mean, potentially. I guess, right? Old Dwemer weapon. Ah. Odd. Odd Dwemer weapon. Indeed. Alright, well, we got the piece of the blade. So, what does he want us to do? Go somewhere, go to the... Um... Right. Orc at the Winged Guar Uncle's Farm. Alright, let's go there. Let's do that. Uh, we have to go there anyway and talk to the... museum person. Oh, let's, uh, let's save first. Man, it's strange. It's only the third episode I've recorded today. The nine and the end. How's the weather now, naked dude? Stings my bits. Or <laughs> I don't know. All right, we're gonna go. Welcome to war. Part of me was like, I don't want to do this, but I think they're probably connected, maybe. And I'm hoping this quest line will. If you need a good laugh for a tall tale, you come to the right Yes, place. stranger. I don't see an orc. Okay. Have you seen an orc? It's actually strange. I don't know if I've seen... Hmm. Is there... Oh, there's rooms. Oh, okay, hang on. There we go. Right. There's a whole actual bar. What do you want? Oh, you can offer training. Well, let's ask about... Yeah, I get it. Code words, whatever. Here's what you should know. Journal updated. Our king is a paranoid. I know, I know. It's treason to even think that sort of stuff, but it's true. He always thinks someone is out to get him. I mean, he's not wrong. He's the king. The man's had me checking into a different conspiracy every week for the last month. I keep telling him, you're king, you're going to have enemies. Does he listen? Psh. This time, though, there might be something to it. I found some disturbing information. My sources tell me there's a plot, but not against the king. From what I've been able to gather, there will be an attempt made on the queen mother's life. I'm not sure who would want to target her. From what I know, she has no enemies in Mournhold. That's what my sources are telling me. Huh. Unexpected. Okay. How may I help you, Nord? Greetings, Nord. What can I do for you? Lots of things. Okay, to God's Reach. To... Museum yes. artifacts. Uh, sell something new. Oh, really? That's one of the things, huh? We could just give it up? Meh. 
The piece of the Blade of Nerevar here in Mornhold. Now there's something I'd like to get my hands on for the museum. I can't say that I've seen any that I know of, but I do have one piece from roughly the same time, and it seems to be of Dwemer construction. I don't even have it on display because I haven't been able to positively identify it yet. It's a shield of Dwemer make, but not traditional in any sense of the word. The pieces of it just don't seem to match. I've wondered if it isn't some sort of a fake. I suppose I might be able to part with it, but I'll need some compensation. I'm always looking for new pieces for the Museum of Artifacts. Unique items, armor, and weapons of lore, you know the stuff. If you'd be willing to donate a couple to the museum, I'd be willing to part with the shield. I see. Okay. Does not believe she has any piece of the blade. She does have a unique shield from the same era. She will allow me the use of the item, but only if I make some donations to her museum. Well. Ring of Khajiit. Invisibility and fortify speed. Dagger of Symmachus. What is she? Where's the book? Okay. Lord's Mail? No. Ebony Mail? No. Spellbreaker? No. Chrysomir? No. Staff of Magnus Warlock's Ring? Ring of Finaster? Ring of Khajiit Mesa Molag Ball? Curass of the Savior's Hide? Oh, man. That's the one I stole, isn't it? Daedric Scourge. Bow of Shadows. Fists of Randagulf. Ice Blade of the Monarch. Ring of Surroundings, really? Huh. Well, I wouldn't mind getting rid of the Ring of Khajiit. How many did how many did they want specifically? Never sleeps. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Well, Ring of Hmm. Yes. Well, how do I... Let's see. Boots of the Apostle, Dagger of Symmachus. One Piece, Royal Guard, sell something. See, this is strange because she's only... keep so she wants me to donate a couple right bring me a couple quality pieces and I'll be able to help you well you don't you won't let me give you the freaking ring of Khajiit will you Stendar's hammer I can only ask her about freaking the Dagger of Symmachus. I mean, I guess that would be fine. No, I just got it, though. I'd probably want to give up the... Staff of Magnus. And I can't even do any of the rings. Warlock's Ring or whatever. Museum of Artifacts. Latest rumors. Hmm. Interesting. It's Welcome to the Mournhold Museum of Artifacts. Do I need to put it on? Mentor's ring. Ring of Khajiit.
Hmm. Ring of Azura. Oh, frustrating. Okay. I'd be happy to talk. Well, let us... Hmm. Dagger of Simicus, I mean... It's got a lot of condition. It, the, it does some pretty good damage. Um, this is an honor for me. Um, right, it's this one. We call. We could maybe do the Ice Blade of the Monarch. Um, I mean, friend, what brings you? I mean, you could just be like, oh, here's the... But it's weird, because I have these rings, what like the that? Ring of Surroundings and stuff, and I'm like, you know, you don't want this uh, one. Where can I take you? I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. It's like, you don't want this, why? May you find me. All right. Uh, let's see. Spear. Demon, demon, demon stuff, glass poison sword. Bird darts, ebony scimitar, ice blade of the monarch. Well, first, first we'll save right here. Because that way if she's like, oh no, I don't want the ice blade of the monarch. Okay, 60. Okay, what about the uh, staff of Magnus? Wow, look at that thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, spell absorption, that's huge. Restore health. I mean, that's good. Okay. Anything else? It's funny, right? Said don't need a couple of pieces. Well, it's funny. Long live the king. It's funny because she's like, you gotta, you know, you better find me these treasures. Welcome to the Mournhold Museum of Artifacts. Okay, Ice Blade of the Monarch and Staff of Magnus. Ah, the Ice Blade. Often have I heard tales of it. One wonders might have become of it had the assassination succeeded. Well, no matter. Do you wish to sell it or maybe donate it? She does want us to donate items, I think. Let's donate. I personally don't believe the rumors the blade chooses who wields it, and I think it'll be quite safe here in our display case. Thank you, Loxley. Okay, well, Staff of Magnus, quite a prize indeed. Are you willing to part with it? I can offer you 30,000 gold. I'll donate it. 
I want to make sure I could I could sell it, but I want to make sure that it's like, oh, no, no, you need to donate these things. Quite in addition to our collection is one of the oldest artifacts in all of Tamriel, to my knowledge. Thank you, Loxley. Here we go. You've already been quite a friend in the museum. I'll give you the piece. I'm classifying it as a Dwemer battle shield. As I said, I'm not sure what to make of it. The spike attached to the front of the shield seems to be loose, but a, comp but a competent smith can probably take care of that for you. Good luck to you, and if you're able to recreate the Blade of Nerevar, I'd love to see the finished product. Well, I don't know what else to call it. You should probably have a smith to look at it, though. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go to, uh, the, I, th I think it's right here, right? The Craftsman's Hall. Must you? This is so, Kyle. I agree. Oh my goodness. Uh, no, what about... Dwemer Battle Shield? Hmm, an odd construction to be sure. Let me see. As I thought, these two pieces aren't supposed to be attached. Looks like a regular Dwemer Shield with this other piece attached. I hope you didn't pay too much for that shield, friend. It's nothing special as far as I could see. The other piece is interesting, though. Dwemer in origin, but unlike anything I've seen before. Dwemer Battle Shield removed. Dwemer Shield added. Broken Dwemer Blade Piece added. Journal updated. All right, then. Need custom armor? I'm the one you want. After taking the shield to a smith, I've been told the spike on the shield is not part of the original design, that it looks like it belonged to a weapon. I believe it to be one of the mis missing pieces of the blade. All right, well, let's... Maybe you? Oh, forge the blade, yeah. You've got some interesting pieces there. I can work with this. Make the best blade you've ever seen. Not that I figure you know a die katana from a butter knife. Come back in two days' time, and I'll have your blade. Now leave me alone. I... Oh, wait. Yeah, you're the one who wanted me to forge the blade. I suppose you figure I'm finished, huh? Uh... Okay. For a second, I was like, no, I I was worried he was going to be like, no, I need something else. Here's your blade. And before you ask, I don't know why it doesn't burn. I'm a smith, not an enchanter. You want Dwemer enchantments on this thing? Talk to a Dwemer. Great. True flame has been added to your inventory. Journal updated. I know, I know, they're all dead, but look, I've heard rumors of powerful Dwemer mystic Radak Stungthums that lived in Bam's Amshen. He's long gone, but maybe some of his writings still exist. If you could find any of them, I'll see what I could do for you. Oh, I don't bring it to the actual Dwemer dude? I feel I can truly share with you without fear. Thank you. I've received the blade from Grow Gluck. It is a beautiful weapon, but it's not a flaming blade, as Almalexia has suggested it would be. Yagat Grow Gluck says he cannot enchant the blade, but he suggests I visit the ruins of Bam Amshin and seek the writings of the Dwemer mystic Radak Stungthums. If I can return with some of the writings, Grow Gluck believes he may be able to enchant the blade for me. Oh, uh, it's a like a trident. Interesting. Can I... I just want to sell you this Dwemer shield by itself. Okay. Oh, now he's got the, the shield. What does this look like? Ah. Oh. That's pretty cool. Doesn't look... Doesn't look Dwemer, though. But then again, I mean, Keening... Right? See, I mean, you look at this and it's sort of... Like the crystal is... 
Dwemer construction looks, it's all yellow. Yellow metal, you know? It's very strange. The, the blade, they're like, oh yeah, this is Dwemer. It's like, doesn't, no, I mean, no, I would say no. That rat's in the bag. Okay, so. We need to go. Should we go back to Helseth? Um, hmm. What was that? <clears throat> we have a couple options. Let's go to do the Almalexia quest line. We have to get this blade, whatever. There's Helseth. Um, Helseth wants us, it's very, let's go back there. We'll tell him about the plot, about the, the queen. Uh, learned about the attacks. No, not that one. Not Uncle's Farm. Threat to our monarchy? Any threat will be dealt with quickly and severely. Some would wish it. They would live to regret it. Queen Mother. Uh, plot. Yes, I expected you would find out as much. Other sources of mine indicate the same thing, and that the attempt will be made tomorrow night. Our mother must be protected at all costs. But I do not wish to tip my hand to these assassins. Here's how we will protect Berenzia. It would be unwise to station more guards outside her doors, as that would alert the killers to our knowledge. Better to catch them in the act. One of our royal guards could be involved in this attempt, so they will keep they will be kept occupied elsewhere. You'll stay in the antechamber outside our mother's chambers tomorrow evening. And deal with these assassins when they arrive. Close the door behind you and hide behind the screens so as not to alert them to your presence. Meantime, find out whatever else you can. <sighs> Wait in the antechamber outside Berenzia's room at nightfall and protect her from the assassins. You are to hide behind the screens in the ante room and make sure to close the door to the room behind you. We do not want to let the assassins know they are expected. In the meantime, find out whatever else you can about the attempt. Report to us when you have completed your task. What, is, what does that even mean? Find out whatever else you can. Like, I know nothing. You know everything. Outside tomorrow night, protect her from any attackers. Close. Right, let's just do that now. Tomorrow night, right? Um, these are strange times, my friend. Okay, you want me to wait here and close both doors? Tomorrow evening. So 24 hours will take me to tomorrow. And then we'll wait for, I don't know, 12 hours. I'm in position where King Helseth told me to wait outside of Berenzia's chambers, and I've closed the door to the room behind me. I hear... Oh, 
Ah, oh, Dark Brotherhood. Interesting. So I guess I just go attack them. I've trifled with you long enough. Okay, where is... Do I have... Let's see. Oh, Ring of Toxic Cloud. That might be good. Okay. Ring of Shock Balls. Okay. Man, I love poison. Uh-huh. Well, and there you go. If you don't want, um... If you wanted that stuff again, there you go. Right? Uh, let's see. Where is... Ring of Azura. I have defeated the assassins. What do we got here? Adamantium short sword, dark brotherhood stuff. I mean, I'll take all their armor, I guess. I'll take, take the short sword too. Why are they all wearing... It looks like leopard print. Twenty. Should I go see Berenzia? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I mean, it freed up a little bit, a little bit of space, but not much. I was going to use some of those, like, you know, these. Emily until Burst Shock, because they do damage. And then I was like, oh, wait, I have poison. Oh, hang on. Um, mm. Let's go ahead and... Freed up a couple pounds, basically 13 points, 29 seconds. That's pretty good. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, and then we gained a level, so that's... That's why. All right, cool. Well, okay, I want to sell these things, a lot of them. Or at least I want to sell the short swords. My protector, it seems you were able to take care of that ridiculous plot. It seems that's been taken care of. Good work. I'm on it. These are strange times, my friend. Was it a... a... Morn, I'm not busy now. City of light. What do you need? City of magic. Was it a ruse? You know what I mean? Was it a false flag that he did it on himself to make it look like he wasn't involved. It must be stopped. You're able to hold off the assassins. Interesting. Perhaps the threat was not as great as it seemed. We commend you. Take this as a show of our appreciation. We are impressed with your efforts so far. When you're ready, speak to me about further service to your king. Health says collar. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, we were to discuss my plans for you. Let us do that. As I've said, they relate to the recent events in the city. We've discussed this enough. You know what you must do. Okay, so it's more about the attacks. When you know more, come talk to me. For now, visit the goddess. Goddess. Health says collar is what? Uh... 
Um, hmm. I assumed it was a ring or something. Like an amulet? Are these all in... Oh. Constant effect, amulet, fortify, sneak, security, and speed. I mean, that's decent. Alright, let us run to... Your reputation does you honor, Sarah. Mornhold, city of light, city of magic. Just want to go to the smith, we'll sell him. Part of me wants to sell him the other stuff, make him dress like a freaking Dark Brotherhood assassin, you know? Are they coughing because of the ash storms? Alright, barter. Hmm. Okay, well. I mean, I don't... I don't need these things. That's the only... I'd probably rather sell them to... Oh, wait, they're 500 apiece, so they're, they're pricey. Um... Hmm. I'd rather sell them to Wayne, if I'm being honest. Oh, he'll buy him. Oh, I mean that's kind of the we'll just we'll just sell them all. There we go. 4,000. Let's go to 4,500, maybe. Let's see if I can do it. Do you want some custom, custom armor? armor? I'm the one you want. There it is again. It's crazy. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. So let us... We go talk to her, go talk to Almalexia, but right now I think we have to... Uh, we're just supposed to go down into... thought I saw something. Oh, maybe it was that. Into the plaza, right? Look for the dude's writings? Is that what they want us to do? Well, maybe in there. We'll just save here because I have a feeling we're going to have to run through. You know? Alright guys, well that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying... There's cat hair. Enjoying these episodes? What is your guys' unique puzzle moment for today? Uh, for me, I'm going to go with... The fact that I wasn't on call last night because we got it well they didn't we switched and uh the house officer didn't know so she called me at 5 a.m oh i need you to come in and i'm like I'm, we we told the day one but not the night one so that's yeah I, maybe they should have told them but they didn't so still got woken up at five but didn't have to go in hmm, excuse me so there's there's a silver lining, you know. Um, that's my unique pause moment. Hopefully your guys just good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. So then, guys, take care.